guys, it's Amber from Amber Eats Books, and today I'm here to bring you my weekly wrap up. My reading week was pretty good. I loved some of the things that I read, a few of them I enjoyed immensely, and just one or two were just okay for me. But overall, I really had, I would say, a fairly good week. I had plenty of time to read. It was the last week of summer vacation for us, so we just kind of tried to relax as much as we could before the craziness of, craziness of next week begins, but let's not waste any more time. Let's get into these books. I'm going to start with my lowest ranked book of the week, and that is Oranges Are Not the Only Fruit by Jeanette Winterson. I, ranked, I rated this two and a half stars. Um, this is a story about a girl who is brought up in a very religious home um, and her struggles as a lesbian and things like that as she comes to terms with this religion and her overbearing mother and all of those sorts of things. So it was sort of like a coming of age tale. However, it really just didn't do anything for me. I. I read this at the beginning of the week and already I can't remember details from the book because I just didn't really care about anything that happened in it. It was interesting at the time while I was reading it. The writing was okay, it, maybe not my style, but it, it was readable. It did kind of jump around in the plot a bit, making it just a little tough to follow at times, um, but it just just wasn't for me. It wasn't horrible, wasn't great. Maybe other people would enjoy this. I'm not saying don't read it because obviously there's plenty of people that rated it very highly and uh, maybe it would just click better with somebody else. I'm not sure. So two and a half stars. Probably won't pick up anything else by this author. Just not in, not in the mood for that style of writing, I guess. The next book that I read this week was Genesis Girl by Jennifer Bardsley. I enjoyed this book thoroughly. It was a three-star read for me, which is totally enjoyable, just maybe not memorable. Um, this book was about a girl who had never been touched by technology. Her picture had never been taken, she had never been on the internet, she had never texted anyone, um, and she went to this special school with others just like her. They were, you know, blank slates, if you will. And at the end of their time in their school, they um, get bitted on by either companies to sell their products because these people are so pure that people will just believe anything that they say and they will take their word for it and buy the products or they get sold to a private bidder and that's who she was sold to and it just goes through her story and her uh, journey through that. I know this is supposed to be a trilogy. This was book one in the trilogy and like I said, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I like the characters. There was some humor in here. There was some touching times. However, it just didn't really do it for me. It was more geared definitely towards a younger YA reader, I would say. Um, my daughter, who's 13, absolutely loved it and she can't wait for the sequel. Me, I will probably read the sequel. I'm just not in a rush to do so, but definitely enjoyable. The next book I read was Ink and Bone by Lisa Unger. If you remember from my TBR video, I mentioned that I got this book accidentally. I meant to request another book from a different library and instead I got this book um, but when it came in it sounded like something that I would read so I just decided to go ahead and give it a shot. It was actually really enjoyable. I rated it three stars but it was completely easy to read. The writing was not too flowery nor was it too basic. It was just flowing and the story moved along at a very steady pace. The characters were enjoyable. It was just a very great paranormal type thriller and I would definitely check out more books by Lisa Unger. So yeah, three stars, definitely. If you just want a light read, something that would just, you know, take your mind off of the world and not make you think too much, but you would also enjoy being submersed into a world where there's, you know, a little bit of danger, a little bit of uh, kidnappings and things like that, then I would definitely read this book. The next book I read was The Ocean at the End of the Land by Neil Gaiman. This was my first Neil Gaiman book. I had never read anything prior to him, but I've heard a lot of people, you know, sing his praises. So I was really interested to see what this book would have in store for me. I actually ended up rating it 3.75 stars. It didn't quite make it to the four for me. There was just a few things lacking, such as, um, just a more emotional connection to a couple of the characters. I was totally invested in the story. The writing 
the writing style is just beautiful. I could read this writing style all day, never get tired of it. His writing is just fantastic. I will definitely be picking up more books by him because just that fact alone was great for me. The plot and the story itself um, definitely moved along. It, there wasn't very many slow points for me. I read this fairly quickly. It's a pretty thin book and I completely enjoyed it. I will say emotionally, I just wasn't as invested as I wanted to be. I'm a very emotional reader. If a book really, you know, grabs me and, and makes me cry or laugh out loud or whatever the case may be, it gets ranked a little higher than other books. Um, this just emotionally, I wasn't invested, but as far as the plot and the story went, I completely had to finish the book. So that's why 3.75 stars. Like I said though, beautiful writing. I can't wait to read more, read more by him. The final book I read this week was The Black Prism by Brent Weeks. This story was my favorite of the week. I rated it four stars. It is a fantasy novel, so if you're not into fantasy, probably not the book for you, but it is a fantasy novel completely, and I absolutely enjoyed it. As you can see, it is quite large. It's it's huge. It was eh, 626 pages, so definitely a chunker. But I will say the writing was very, very submersive and easy to read. There wasn't a lot of um, having to figure out too many things as far as the magic system and the world and things like that. It, you do have to figure out some things, but it's not overly complicated, which I really enjoyed. The magic system, I completely enjoyed. Um, it was unique. I've never read anything that had that sort of magic system. It's based on light and prisons and all that sort of stuff. Um, it was just, it was just wonderful. The cast of characters, I think, really made it for me too. They were flawed and complicated and everyone was just, even the people that you didn't like, you, you ended up liking. I don't know how to put it other than that without giving anything away, but like I said, highly enjoyable read. And as I was talking before about the size of the book, I was really excited to find that the chapters were short. They weren't excessively long, especially with a book of this size when you're reading, you know, so many pages and then you find out that the chapters are extremely long, it could be kind of daunting because then you don't feel as if you're making much progress. But with the shorter chapters, it just made the story fly by. I think I read this in two days, maybe? Maybe two and a half. I might've started it at night and then finished it, you know, 20, 48 hours later, the next two nights from then. Um, I don't know if that just didn't make any sense to me, but hopefully you guys got what I just meant. <laughs> Anyway, um, it flew by though. The characters, like I said, sucked me in. I just really enjoyed them. I really enjoyed the magic system. I completely enjoyed having a fantasy novel also that um, didn't have a ton of sex scenes, if that makes sense to you guys, like Game of Thrones. Every other chapter, every other page, someone's, you know, with someone else and this and that. This had romantic elements, but it wasn't taking over the book. So that was nice too. And it was nice to see the complexity of these characters. Overall, just a really enjoyable read. And I've already requested the sequel from my library. So I can't wait to get that in and get started. So that wraps up my week. If you guys have read any of these books and want to talk about them, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment. Also, what have you guys been reading? What did you get through this week? What are you planning to get through next week? Anyway, I hope to talk to you guys soon. I will be making my TBR video probably following this one so I'll have that up tomorrow and then I have a couple other videos planned for later in the week probably a tag video maybe a top five Wednesday and then I'm not sure because school starts this week like I said and I'm not sure how busy and hectic it will actually be um, anyway I will talk to all of you guys soon and if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you'd like to see more bookish videos please subscribe to my channel and as always happy reading